Apex Legends is a battle royale shooter where legendary characters with powerful abilities team up to battle for fame and fortune on the fringes of the frontier. Master an ever-growing roster of diverse legends, deep tactical squad play, and bold new innovations that level up the battle royale experience, all within a rugged world where anything goes. Welcome to the next evolution of battle royale. Or that's what Origin says about the game. So here is my first impressions slash review thing of Apex Legends. I don't have a script for this video, which is probably awkward, and I probably should have one. But I'm gonna try and wing it, and I'll see how that goes. I have put around, I'd say, 15 to 20 hours into the game so far. I just want to get this out of the way. This game is very good. The first time I heard about this game was from Layman Gaming. Hopefully you know that channel and you should check it out if you haven't because it's great. From them I heard like, oh, Titanfall 3 won't probably be happening anytime soon and instead EA has decided to make a Battle Royale game. And my first thoughts were basically just disappointment because I love Titanfall 2. It's one of my favorite FPS games ever made. The story is great, the gameplay is great, multiplayer is fun as hell. So hearing that the third game would be cancelled and instead we get a Battle Royale game which I really dislike. Yeah, I was just really disappointed. I sort of had hope because it, it is a respawn game. It is made by Respawn Entertainment. They haven't really done any wrong so far. And so I was willing to give the game a shot. Honestly, now I'm glad I did. There is obviously, it's a hero based Battle Royale. It's sort of a new twist, I guess. Honestly, the little differences that the characters have aren't super mind-blowing or anything. They don't change the game completely. They do add a whole new depth to it, sure, but... And I think it's been balanced really well. The heroes themselves, I feel... If you see a picture of one, you can easily, like, remember which one it is. And I think that's really cool. Oh yeah, also, Wraith's run is uh, Naruto. <laughs> Look at that, it's so stupid. It's kind of like what happened to Overwatch with me. Just the characters stuck in my head, and that's why I still like the game, because the characters are just so recognizable and like... Just, they feel home, you know? <laughs> Get ready, it's zipline time! When I heard about the whole teaming up thing, that you cannot play alone, and it's only in teams of three, I was a little skeptic at first. Um, you know, with games like Overwatch, it's very team-based and team-heavy. So if you just don't get good teammates, you're basically kind of fucked. But after playing the game, I think it's the greatest decision they've made. Honestly, it makes the game just better. I don't really know how the game could really separate itself without that team feature. They've done a really good job with that, I think. Because they give you an XP bonus when you group up with a friend. I think it's just like 5% or something, but even that. Incentivize? Is that the word? I don't know, I'm gonna go with that. It does that to you, to, to play with your friends and have fun with your friends, which I just love. Like, that's great. I think the biggest thing in the game, at least for me, is the ping system. Just every single part of the social aspect of the game. It is done so perfectly that I... There's nothing bad I can say about it, really. The social menus are great and simple. Easy to navigate, easy to invite people, easy to join people. The pinging while you're in the match is just genius. And I don't know why this hasn't been done before. Because honestly, this is the best social thing that I have ever seen in a game. The whole being able to ping enemies and ping stuff on the floor for your teammates to see, it's so good. And it has saved me so many times before from like being shot by enemies or getting like a shield or some certain weapon or ammo that I've needed. I just love that you don't have to have a microphone to play this game. You can just turn voice chat completely off and you'll be fine because everybody's using the pinging system, everyone's using <laughs> text to speech, which by the way, that is genius. I love that they've added text-to-speech. It's not only funny as hell, but it's also really helpful. You're right, Seth. Rip my main. Sad face. <laughs> Sad face! They make a whole bullet point in the origin description about the map. How it's genre-evolving innovation and how there's respawn beacons, smart comms, 
intelligent inventory, all new way to drop into the action with Jump Master deployment. The map is nice. I really like the aesthetic of it. I think it looks really cool. I think it does a good balance of looking the same, but also having enough diversity so it, you don't really get mixed up about where you are. I think the different locations are interesting, and it's really easy to remember where you can get good loot. The map is fine. I really like it. I think all the movement options you have and all the abilities make it super fun to play. Being able to just grapple like really far distances or jump down as far as you want because there's no fall damage. I think it's really great. And I think the whole respawning thing is also just really cool. It adds a whole new aspect. You can never be sure if you're actually knocked out somebody. Like, their teammate can just bring them back to life. When it comes to all the movement stuff in the game, I'm... I gotta say I'm a little disappointed. After playing Titanfall 2 and having that same very similar feeling movement system. Not having double jump and wall riding just feels super odd. I kind of get why they ditch those, but I... The sliding is so nice. Being able to just slide down hills, it's just so fun. Also, the sliding? Best fucking thing. You can just slide if there's downhill. It'll just keep you going. It's so good. The item gathering and looting and what the origin thing calls intelligent inventory. I really enjoy it. I think it's done very well. I love that when you see a thing on the floor, you can pick it up. If you have a better version of it, or just the same, you can't pick it up. Or you can hold to pick it up, which will just replace it. The auto sort of putting on the attachments, now that's a really good way of saying it, Jesus, is just super nice and handy. Um, from what I remember in PUBG, you have to always manually, like, pick up the different attachments and put them onto the gun. Which, you know, for a game that's trying to sort of go for more realism thing, sure, I guess it makes sense. But from a gameplay standpoint, it's a, it's a little annoying. Something I don't enjoy, however, is what seems to be a bit of server issues. I can't... 100% tell if it's servers or if it's just hitboxes being really weird sometimes. Stuff like sniper rifles and shotguns are kind of useless, even pistols to some extent. Anything that's sort of one shot or semi-auto is just kind of bad. I was clearly shooting at this one guy for a good amount of time, like they would have been dead. They would have been knocked down if the shots actually registered. But they didn't. Another guy just ran around the corner and basically one-shotted me. Oh my god, I just got one-shotted. Being really the only big problem I have with this game, I'm kind- well, I'm not fine with it. Obviously. I can live with it, I guess. I guess that's a good way of saying it. As for the microtransactions, I don't really see a problem. At least not yet, and seeing or hearing from Respawn that EA didn't really have much to do with this game, I think it really shows. This is probably the least EA-like game they have published in a long while. I mean, come on, it even shows you the possibility of certain items. Is this an EA game? Please don't find a way to fuck it up, EA. Please don't. Sure, there are some kind of expensive microtransactions for, like, cosmetic loot. Like some skins, some voice lines, camos for weapons. It's a first person shooter, so it's not really that big of a deal to me. If somebody wants to spend that money, then sure, I, I guess. It doesn't help you, it just makes you look cooler. Honestly, at this point, I just want Respawn to get all that money so they can, you know, use that money to develop Titanfall 3. I have looked through a lot of the skins and a lot of the camos and whatnot and voice lines. They are kind of boring. There are some that are pretty cool and something that I would really like to get. I like that the option's there, if you want. I think it's some sort of in incentive to play the game, which is nice. As somebody who sort of swore I would never ever play a Battle Royale game, I'm very glad I checked out this game, because honestly, it is the best Battle Royale game I have played and probably will ever play. I don't think I really want to play anything in other Battle Royale games after this one, because this one just does so many things so well. And you can really see the love and care Respawn has put into this game. It is just awesome to see, especially for somebody who 
you know, recently has played a lot of Fallout 76. <sighs> well, I mean, it just works. I cannot get out. Fun. This is, this is fun. This is what I call fun. So it's, it's nice coming to a game where you see that the devs have actually given at least one fuck about what they're doing. Unlike Ballista. If you're even slightly into Titanfall, or Battle Royale, or FPS games, I would definitely suggest checking this game out. I think it's a lot of fun, especially with friends. Even just playing alone, like if you're playing with two strangers, it's still so much fun, and it's just a really nice experience. And I have loved pretty much every second that I've played. Apart from, you know, slight connection issues and the game sort of crashing randomly at times. <laughs> Zero kills. Uh, hello? just crashed. Considering that's like the second time the game's crashed for me, I don't really mind. But that's pretty much all I can really think of. Now this is why you should really come up with a script, because, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope somebody got the motivation or whatever to actually pick up the game and see how it is. And it's free, so, you know, you don't really lose anything. Except maybe if you really hate EA, then maybe you don't want to check it out. I'd say check it. I think it's good. I love it. I'm just gonna keep playing it more and more. I'll probably get tired of it in a week or two. But hey, I've had fun. So, I don't know. I don't know how to end videos, by the way. This is this is the, the gameplay everyone wants to see. Camping at the highest point. Well, <laughs> literally... Everyone else is on the other side of the map. Bondage JP says. Fuck! You guys. Fuck! No, come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. Oh, oh nice. Did he just kill two with one shot? Come on, come on, please don't die. Yes! Woo! You're right, Seth. Hell yeah! Zero, Zero. kills. <laughs> and he threw us. <laughs> Andre fucking carried. Jesus Christ. I didn't really help much, but I'll take it.